Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this session, we will discuss the remaining part of uh, exercise 3.4. Uh, this is exercise 3.4 and we will uh, cover uh, uh, exercise uh, problem number uh, 7. Uh, here in this uh, uh, problem uh, we have a rectangle has a sides of length this one length of this rectangle is this and the other length is 7 minus under 2 centimeters and we have to find the area of the rectangle so express your answer in the form of a plus b under root 2 so we have to show the answer in this form a plus b under root 2 so we have length of one side and the uh, other side is this. So, we will multiply this to get the area. So, we will solve this uh, 7. So, length is given as 2 plus under root 8 and 7 minus under root 2. So, one side is multiplied by the other side to get the area of this rectangle. The area is 2 plus under root 8 and 7 minus under root 2 and we will multiply with this element with the whole uh, other bracket with and second this one with whole bracket so we are expanding it so by expanding so so we multiply with this this is 14 this is 2 under root 2 uh, 8 under root 7 is uh, basically 14 under root 2 this 8 multiplied by this is 8 to, to the 16 uh, so this is 4 now we simplify it this is 10 plus and 12 under root 2 centimeters square. So the area of uh, this rectangle is uh, this. So this A, so we have to write the answer in A plus B under root 2 form. So this is A and this is B. Uh, now question number 8. Uh, now go to the question number 8. Question number 8. Uh, question number 8. Uh, uh, find the value of AC square in this uh, right angle triangle. We have to find this AC square and find the value of tangent x. This tangent x, we have to find the value of tangent x and write your answer in the form of A under root 6 divided by 2 divided by B and A and B are integers. So we have find the value of tangent x. So tangent x is basically uh, AB upon BC. Because tangent we have write the opposite and the adjacent. Opposite divided by adjacent is called tangent x. So and find the area of the triangle. So what we do? We actually half uh, this base length and this height. So half into base length into height will give the area of this one. So uh, question number 8 we will do this and in the last part we have a cuboid has a square base and the length of the cuboid is this and the height of the cuboid is this. So we have length and height is given and we have to find the square side. Sides of the squares are length this and the height of the cuboid. So the two side length is this and one side of the height is this. So we will find the volume. So let's start problem number uh, uh, eight. Uh, we have given this right angle triangle. So this is 9 under root 3, this is 5 under root 2 and we have to find the value of AC square. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square is equal to 9 under root 3 whole square plus 5 under root 2 square. So this gives the answer 243, this gives 50 and on adding we get 293. So this AC square is 293. Uh, now uh, we have to find the 
a tangent x. So, tangent x is uh, opposite divided by adjacent. So, 9 under root 3 divided by 5 under root 2. 9 under root 3, 5 under root 2. And we have to uh, remove this under root 2. So, we will multiply with this both sides. So, this becomes 5 under root 2 is 10. And this becomes uh, 9 under root 6. And this is 9 and and root 10 this is 6 so this is a and this is b integers numbers and the root 6 this was the required uh, tangent x value in this problem second we have uh, we have to find the area so this is length a b and this is b c so we multiply this length with this one with half so height base and so, 1 over half AB into AC, AB value is given as 9 under root 3, AC is uh, 5 under root 2, sorry BC, BC is 5 under root 2, this is, uh, this is basically BC, uh, make it correct, this is BC, AB into BC, so this is 5 under root 2, and so we give this answer, 45 divided by 2 under root 6. So, cuboid, we have to find a cuboid area. So, this is length. This length is uh, 1 plus under root 2. And this length is also length 1 plus under root 2. While the height, this height is 5 minus under root 2. So, we have to find the uh, volume. So, the area b is uh, this uh, basis is a square. And this length is a rectangular shape. So, this gives a rectangular shape. So, this cuboid is of this shape. So, this length into breadth into height is the volume so breadth is equal to length and height is given as this so we we'll multiply with this one so this is a plus b whole square and this is remains so a plus b whole square we first solve it so we have obtained this and then we'll multiply with this one and we have obtained this one so this is the volume here this is a and this is b so this was the required shape of the answer so, we have obtained a required shape of the sum. Similarly, this is question number 10. And uh, here we have to uh, find this, uh, solve question number 10. So, let's see the question number 10 first. And question uh, number 10. This is a challenging problem. Find the exact value of uh, 2 plus under root 3 and the whole under root 3 minus 2, 2 minus under root 3 in a, in a bracket. So, let's this uh, is x minus this and then square both sides of the equation. This is the hint and we have to find this value. So, this is a challenging problem. So, we will solve this third problem. question number 10 so we have given this so this lets x is equal to 2 plus under root 3 minus this so let's take the square on both side on taking a square on both sides so uh, this uh, uh, this is a and this is b okay so we take this as a a square minus 2 plus 2ab. So, on solving this, uh, the remaining part is eliminated because this uh, part is b square is uh, not visible here. So, this this square is basically added here to get the square. So, on simplification, we have obtained this shape. So, this is uh, on simplification, we obtained this. So, taking a square root on both sides and we get this x equal to 4. Similarly, for uh, problem number uh, 11, we have this uh, 4 minus 4 under root 2 is equal to under root a minus b. So, a and b have to find. So, this is given and taking square on both sides. So, this is and uh, this becomes 4 under root 2 and this becomes a, this is b and this is 2ab. This is a square. So, this is a. So, this is a square is become a because this is under root. So this becomes a and this is b because this is 
under root so this under root square is basically b so the middle term will be 2ab and this is this under root a is this equivalent to a and this is this so the first term and the second term is here first term square and the second term square so this becomes a plus b by 2ab so a plus b is given as uh, 6 so this uh, real number without third is 6 so a plus b is 6 and this uh, uh, 2 under root ab is basically 2ab so this 2 minus 2ab is equal to minus 4 under root 2 so ab under root ab is equal to 2 under root so ab square is 2 under root 2 square so ab is equal to 8 ab is obtained as 8 and we have to obtain this value so we have obtained value of a and b so this is a plus b is 6 and a b is equal to 8 so we can simplify it by solving it simultaneously and we have obtained b 2 so 4 and 2 are the two numbers so this is the answer this is very very important question and may be asked in the final exam so take care of it this is very important problem in the next uh, session we will discuss uh, exercise 3.